The, the, the violence is so completely over the top and fun. I mean, it sounds crazy to say that, but you know, it's 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 uh, people were cheering and and stuff. Speaking of cheering, so. speaking of cheering, you're that amazing. Yeah, I believe we're going to bid adieu uh, to our leading lady and our leading man. They're going to go grace the other audience. And we're going to shoot the shit with Mr. Green, who uh, clearly has some anger issues. Uh, this is awkward because I don't know what was already said. So if I, I can tell you right now, Joe Lynch did not fire that microphone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> was anybody there for that in 2000? Who was here when Joe Lynch farted in the microphone at his very first Q and A? He just lifted leg. Oh. All right, you're so. pulling a limp biscuit with that microphone, man. Like you got, you're holding it like this, and you're like, ah. <laughs> He's allowed to do this to me. Uh, all right, does anybody want to know? Find a filmmaker, film critic. You want to put me on the spot and see what I thought of it? Oh, shit. I'm not going to get enough of this. I think it's your way. weakest film, and it still kicks ass. Honestly. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. That's Honestly. Thank I do. I think it's his weakest film, and I still like the shit out of it. Thank you. He's my friend. I can be honest. Uh, but I love the kills. Now, when you're sitting down with your buddies, and you're like, let's all do this, you make a list. i got to have balls drop. got to have giant chainsaw. got to have two bodies at once. Um, kind of. I mean, sort of. When you're when you're putting this stuff together, I mean, you have to look at it as a fan, which is what all of us are who work on these things. And um, you just sort of think of what you haven't seen before and um, try to keep pushing it, especially with the rule that we don't use any CGI in these movies. And there were plenty yeah. of movies when people think. When people would say, you know, it would be easier if we used a little, just a little bit here, if we just did a little bit, and um, I was very adamant to sort of fight against that, because to me, um, if you're going to work in this genre, you have to respect the people that came before you. And I have the, the world of respect for, for everybody who, who stood on these sets and did these types of things before me, and like the people like Savini and Beekler, I mean, you, the list goes on and on, Rick Baker, who did such artistry with what they did, and now it's been replaced by somebody behind a fucking computer. And I'm not saying that that doesn't have its place, but not in a low-budget slasher movie. Every time.